Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and I think that from time to time Joshua Bardwell is stealing my topics. Uh, never mind. Mm, today a note about soldering's and uh, flux. Question. Do you need a flux to solder? No, you do not really need a flux to be able to solder, solder because if you really really want you can just hit the um, tin plus how it's called tin and uh, lead in the form of the solder and uh, melt it and maybe even it will connect two things together but it's not a good idea because uh, the flux is designed to make soldering easier better nicer stronger and yeah cool why because solder um, no the flux is not only to um, make the heat transfer simpler. S flux itself, maybe not the soft flux we are using for the low temperature soft soldering with soldering irons. Uh, it, it, it's maybe not always, but mm, flux can remove the oxide from the metal, can create the uh, oxygen free layer around the soldering to make soldering easier, improves the uh, heat transfer and does a few few other nice things. The Almost all the solders we are using have some flux inside but the amount of flux inside this one millimeter solder is really really not not <laughs> it, it's almost not there. The one over here 0 0.7 has even less solder, uh, even less flux. So from time to time when you are soldering something bigger, it's really good idea to have some external flux applied on the solder joint. The most classical flux you can use is the rosin. The rosin that comes in fact the rosin that comes as a crystal. It's more or less the same stuff that the violin players are using. It's, it's natural and uh, it's a crystal. The only thing to make it non-crystallic is either to heat it up and then you can apply this or something. Or oof, it smells like... <laughs> um, or the alternative way is you can try to create the alcohol solution of it. You just take some of this rosin, crystallic rosin, throw it into the pure 96% ethanol alcohol, create a solution and you can use it. So I'm rather not using the clear rosin because it's really hard to apply. You have to heat it up or this. No, it's not a good, very good idea. So slightly better solution is to use the something I showed you already. It's a, it's a paste. It's already melted for you. It's more or less the same stuff. You can just use a match to apply this on stuff. Um, it's better. It's better, but um, is it good? I really like this stuff. I really like this stuff when I'm soldering the really big cables like AWG12 or something like that. It really helps. But yeah, if you want, if you want, you can use something like this, like SMD flux. I know it's designed uh, mainly to uh, solder SMD elements, especially BGA, balls, <laughs> balls. Uh, either way, it always can be used as just a normal flux on anything else. You just take a drop of something, apply to the solder joint and, and here you go. Will it work? Of of course it will work now this bugger is uh, of course it will work but it's not uh, pretty nice it's not really designed uh, for application like this and very important mm, you have to search for something that's called no clean because no clean that means it's not corrosive you do not have to clean the flux after soldering. If you will get something that's not marked as non-clean, that means it might be corrosive and uh, it might just destroy over the time things that you are soldered. So try to go either for no clean and if using no clean, because I don't know, you are a masochist or something like that, then you should 
clean the flux with alcohol or for example, I don't know, the ultrasonic cleaner, something like that, go for no clean, it's just better. But recently I, I have decided that things like this, I mean flux pen is really the best solution for uh, applying flux or th stuff because hey, you cannot spill the flux from this because it's it's easily closable. Even if you open this, it's not dripping flux. Oh no, it's dripping flux on something. <laughs> but it's you really have to try for this to drop, to drip. Uh, and you can just easily apply flux on the joint. Very nice thing. I'm using the tunnel. You have to search in the internet um, for the scrub. Uh, really really very nice um, and it really and it really works easier to use than the soldering paste and much easier to use than the crystallic rosin and uh, I think better to use than this kind of stuff uh, because you can just put it in your pocket or something and it just works so just apply uh, some stuff close it take the soldering iron well it's soldering or soldering um, I'm not an English native speaker and I can pronounce my L, so for me it's soldering. If you live in, I don't know, United States, then perhaps you solder. I solder. I, I, I am able to pronounce my L. Either way, flux applied, pick the soldered, pick the soldered, no problems at all. The same goes, of course, for soldering, but this in a moment. So one more time, why do we use flux? Because flux makes everything simpler, especially when we try to solder solder something to something. I, I wanted to show you how the dry joint would look like, but apparently uh, I don't have bad solder enough. So if I try to... Damn. Okay, let's say that this is not the, the nicest joint ever. It just does not look the best. Uh, but still, it's not that bad, so uh, it's problematic. It's, <laughs> it's always the problem when you try to show something uh, as you do it, because it, yeah, it, it kind of works when you are filming. After applying some of the, of the flax on this, it's really slightly simpler to make a nice and shiny joint hmm. honestly this this joint it does not so nice uh, this is always a problem when you want to make a video material out of something because ah okay never mind this stanol or anything else made in germany because everything was made in germany it has to be awesome right uh, Good stuff. It's not really strictly required because most of the solders we are using, given this Chinesium crop, uh, has usually enough solder flux. I'm always mixing those two. Has almost always enough flux inside just to make the soldering work. But from time to time, when it's really hard, it doesn't want to be a nice smooth uh, joint, apply a little of this. You should be very, very happy man or a girl or... Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, um, there are no links. There are no specific affiliate links uh, in the description. There is the general one you might want to use if you want to support me somehow or not. It's 100% up to you. Um, link to my Patreon page uh, where you can become my patron and supporter and super cool and awesome person is also in the description. That's all for today. Until the next one. Ciao.